So before anybody says anything, yes, I'm sick and I am aware that I don't really have any makeup on, which isn't my normal. Um, but this isn't really going to be the normal kind of video I normally post. Normally. Uh, it's not really going to be funny. It's kind of going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Uh, I really just wanted to say with some of the stuff that's going on in the world right now that we really need to, um, to kind of rise up as people and be better people. As some of you may know, I live in Southern California, and as some of you may have heard, there's an ex-LAPD officer that's basically going around shooting people. Um, and I really feel like I need to say this because I really don't know if anybody else will. I feel like a lot of the decisions that we make as people are based out of fear, and we are conditioned to fear from the time that we're little up until for forever. We're conditioned to be afraid of new things, of animals, of other people, of cars. Of We're conditioned to be afraid of nature. We're told to be afraid of anything from bacteria, like the smallest little molecule can destroy your whole world. And we're told that we need to be afraid. The problem is, is that life will continue and everything around you is going to continue. There's not a whole lot that you can do about it. And there's not really a giant reason to be afraid of it. If you live your whole life in fear, you're going to make a whole lot of decisions that you really regret. Uh, in hindsight, you're going to wish that you were braver. And trust me, I know this probably, you know, better than most people. But I do want to say that um, one of the biggest combatants for fear is love and compassion and understanding are the other two. I know it sounds really hippie, but it's really honestly true. Um... That rhymed. I feel really susy right now. Anyway, so uh, one of the things that I really wanted to talk about in this particular video was that um, a lot of the decisions that that, you know, LAPD officer made were based off of fear and were based off of not only insanity. A lot of people just want to say, oh, he's crazy and that's why he's doing it. Quite frankly, I don't know that he's really crazy. I think he's really pissed. And that comes out of... Um, really just being afraid of the unknown and really not understanding why certain decisions were made um, as far as other people go. But it's not really his place to choose when to take another life and what and when not to. Um, I wanted to put that out there because quite frankly um, I feel like a lot of my decisions that I have made have been based off of fear, and I've tried really hard not to let it affect me, but I'm human just as, the same, just, just as much as anybody else. I'm not a superwoman. I'm not any special. I'm not any more special because I sit here and talk to a camera by myself with a snoring chihuahua in the background. I'm nothing in particularly wonderful, but I do have an opinion, and I'm not really afraid to put it out there. Um... I, I feel like if I if there are repercussions for things that I have to say, then I'm just going to have to wear it because m my opinions are my own. I don't really expect other people to share them, but I really feel like they need to be heard, if anything. Um, I feel like there are a lot of people in this world that want to just say, well, I don't give a F about what you think or anything like that. The uh, problem is, is that we all share this world together, and we need to start being a little more compassionate and a little more understanding towards other people. If the decisions that you make are going to impact another individual in such a negative way, um, you, you might want to think more ahead of time. Um, you know, it, it really is something that we need to do better as people. We need to be a little bit more understanding. Uh, we need to be a little more open-minded than we have been in the past. A lot of closed-mindedness has led to a lot of death and a lot of destruction. It has led to wars. It has led to murder and assassination and genocide. And those are all probably words that you would use for anything. But it, it's really true if you think about it. Um, it's the fear of the unknown that really keeps us from being better people to each other and to ourselves. So... I really just wanted to post this video to tell you not to be afraid and to um, live every day like it's the last because you never really do know when it's going to be the last and don't be afraid of death. It's a natural part of life and it's part of the cycle. Don't be afraid of what you don't know because yeah, what you don't know might hurt you, but what you don't know might educate you and might make you a better person as well. So. Just wanted to say all that. It's been like five minutes, but I and I know it's like a five-minute rant. Sorry, but I, I promise to post more funny videos soon. Um, I'm feeling under the weather, and uh, don't really have the energy to do that right now. But 
I love you all, um, and thank you to each and every one of you who watch my videos, whether religiously or sporadically, or if this is the first video you've ever seen, then thanks anyway. Um, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, that's okay, but I really hope that you do. Um, I promise that I do post funny vid like videos. I really do. Just not when I sound like a man. Okay. But uh, I love you all very much, and thank you very much for taking five minutes to watch this. All right.